I have this weird, morally unbending desire to clean everything. And it's a form of procrastination. Whenever I'm not producing content or something beneficial towards my future, I'm always able, well, I've actually programmed myself to be able to get something else beneficial out of my time-wasting experience of procrastination. So it's a good habit, but at the same time, it's taking from one creativity and it's putting it into something else, which is helping me out throughout my day, such as a clean environment, which helps me think in a certain way. Now, how did I do this? Well, my consciousness, like just then, it actually allowed me to see how it was that I managed to do this. And that is by not me wanting to make content right now, being lazy, being lethargic. It shows me memories of the past where I've been lazy and lethargic and to feel good about myself, procrastinating and not doing the things that I want to do. I then did something else productive, which gave me that feeling of accomplishment. And you see this stacks up throughout the entire day. So you can do this if you want, if you're stuck in a situation where you're procrastinating, but you're not getting anything done, period. You could do this if you want, okay? If you build enough memory that your subconscious mind can use Coupled with the emotional feeling of accomplishment, even if it's besides the point of whatever it was that you wanted to do in the first place. What happens is the next time you feel that procrastination, your subconscious mind is going to remember what you did last time to feel fulfilled and it's going to draw you within that direction instead. Now this may not sound like a pretty good thing to do. 100% of your focus should really be done in a way that you're directing it in any endeavor that you're doing, whether it be a video or homework or studying for an exam. But maybe just for now, if you're not used to redirecting your consciousness, if you're not used to getting positive things done throughout your day that actually contribute towards your success in anything at all, then this would be the ideal experience the ideal experiment for you to try out on your own subconscious mind just to see how more productive and how more clean you can be okay clean i chose cleanliness because honestly i remember not too long ago i felt like i wasn't in control of like everything everything started to fall around i couldn't quite see where i was heading and it freaked me out a little bit too much the only way i got an escape out of this mindset, the situation that I was in, was by moving furniture, okay? And I know a lot of people do this because I've seen it in my own household, my mum does this as well. Moving furniture and cleaning everything, I mean everything, dusting the shelves, cleaning under the bed, re-washing all of my laundry, pressing it and folding it perfectly, even lining it up and stacking it on top of each other in perfect sequences of colour or shape, okay? Now, most people would say that someone who organizes their wardrobe literally in what types of things that are in front of them is slightly OCD. Which then makes you think, what is OCD? The condition of obsessive compulsive disorder. And if it's, it's kind of completely contradictory toward the term. Disorder, there's a disorder in the orientation, how you've laid things out within your disorder. And yet OCD is when you're completely in order. It literally makes no sense. It makes you think, how is this kind of thing created in the first place? Are people with OCD somebody who really wants to do something else instead, but they've accidentally ended up building a stack full of memories where they end up expressing the feeling that they wanted to express during the original thing they wanted to do in the first place. Are you following me? Yeah, I hope so. You know, I noticed that when I really pay attention to my videos, that is when I understand everything that I'm saying. But if I'm slightly distracted, even a little bit, then I go back to my videos, I'm kind of lost a little bit. So <laughs> I'm going to try and slow down or at least make it more easier for me to understand in my videos. Thereby, I'll then know that most people who are watching my videos can then follow along the same way I am. So this is strange. I didn't know I was going to talk about this today, OCD and building up positive behaviors in order to be more productive within your entire day, be more clean and everything. You could do this with anything. I'm just using cleaning as an example because that's what my mind used, my subconscious mind used. You can use it 
for exercise purposes. Say you like your room's really dirty, okay? Room's really dirty, you need to clean it. And that cleaning, that exercise, it feels like, especially if you've got a heavy hoover, really heavy hoovers. When you push that thing around, you feel like a workout, right? And lifting everything, swiping everything, not like the iPhones, I mean, with the, the, the rag and the spray. Well, maybe that's a workout. But then you'd probably think that playing Xbox is a workout too, which it's not, so you need to get off the couch. When you're in that mode where you need to clean and you need the exercise, the physical exercise, instead, when you notice that you're not moving around, go out and walk your dog, go for a run. Now go for a walk at first, then go for a run, okay? Then go to one of those gyms that are inside the park, okay? Do this enough times, I can guarantee you within the space of a week, maybe even less. Next time you want to clean your room, you're going to feel the need to go and exercise. Now, it's a positive way of turning your lack of discipline within the cleaning of your room to a more physical exercise regime. So you know that you've got the issue that you're not cleaning, and now you're getting around it by making yourself more physically practical and increasing the vitality within one area of your life. So you've noticed that you've got the problem. Now that you're physically active and you're used to walking around and running around, now you can tackle the real problem, which is you not cleaning your room in the first place, <laughs> okay? So that's when you need to really trick your mind. What can be likened towards an exercise in your room? The rowing machine, right? Get the Hoover, one hand rowing machine. If you start making connections towards exercise and cleaning your room, Hopefully, if you do this enough times, gradually, over time, you'll be more, you'll be less complacent. You know, you'll be more productive. You'll be more willing to clean your room and you'll actually enjoy it and you'll want to go to the gym. So you're actually going around a problem. So you stop sitting in that place where you're absorbing all that negativity and that depression where you say to yourself over and over again inside your head, oh, I need to clean my room, but I can't be asked. And you start stacking excuse and excuse on top of the piles of excuses in your subconscious mind, in your conscious mind even, because you'll start hearing yourself saying it towards yourself whilst you're sat there. And then that creates that repetitive pattern of thinking. And that's the completely opposite thing of what it was that I just told you to do. And that's what most people do. They'll sit there, they can't be asked to clean, and then they'll create a new type of state of being where they're being more depressing and more depressing and they're feeding their energy which is supporting the belief that they can't be asked to get up and clean something, okay? So just by studying how it is in the present moment that your consciousness is built, you can use clever tricks to fix and rearrange your subconscious mind to change your outer circumstance, your outer outcome, okay? And then by doing so, you'll be more productive, you'll understand yourself way more, and then you'll learn the life hacks as to how to make your external world become more like your internal world by observing how your internal world is already like your external world. So I'm Ryan JC, this is going to be about Do It, and I'll speak to you guys pretty soon.